Hello there, and uh, thank you for joining me once again at my tying bench. In today's fly, I'm going to tie you up a very simple soft tackle pattern. It's one I come up with myself, and it's a, an attractive pattern. I simply call it the Guinea Soft Tackle. It uses Guinea fowl fibers for the tail, peacock curl body, and Guinea Hell feather for the hackle. A simple tie, and I thought you might like to see this one tied up. So get him a device, a fresh hook in, we'll get started here. The hook is a 3906B must head. I'm tying it on a size 10 here, a little bit bigger size for the video. And I'm using UTC 70 denier in black. So we'll simply start our thread behind the hook here and get a thread base laid down. And we'll wrap back towards the bend here. Just about above the barb and then we'll snip off our tag end. Now the first thing we'll do is take one of the guinea feathers and strip off about 15 or 20 fibers for the tail. We'll just bunch those together and measure that up. Not quite the length of the hook shank, but almost. Tie those on top with a pinch wrap. Just like so there. And we'll come back to almost above the barb and lift up on them as we wrap back. Just like so, then wrap that forward. Bind those all down, the excess there from the tail. Okay, there's our guinea fiber tail now. I have four strands of peacock curl for the body. And I'm just gonna line those up and snip off the brittle ends. We don't want those, of course. Okay, I'm just gonna come back a little and tie those right on top. And we'll come back to just about in front of our tail. And I'm just gonna make take my finger here and make a dubbing loop. Same as you would for a regular dubbing. And we'll lock that loop in place with a couple wraps around the base. Then go right in front of our tail and move the thread forward once again to where I want to tie it off. Now, what we'll simply do is take that thread loop and then hurl together, grab your hackle pliers, that, grab a hold at the end of it, and we begin to twist. But before I wrap it, for durability, I always like to take a little lacquer or head cement and a little bead along the shank there and we'll twist that up and I'm going to use my rotary function here wrap the body start right up in front of the tail and you might have to twist your rope a few times as you go just to keep it nice and tight Watch your hook point if you're using a rotary vise. Okay, just gonna back that thread off there a little bit. I should have used the bottom cradle, but that's okay. And we'll just keep wrapping that body forward. And we're just about to the tie-off point. A couple more turns here. Okay, that's fine right there. I'm gonna come up and tie that off. Come up underneath, a couple wraps in front, underneath, and front to lock it in place. And I'm going to come in and snip him off nice and close. Okay, there we go. There's our body and our tail. And a few more securing wraps there just to make sure everything's locked in. Okay, now I have a guinea fowl feather here, and I stripped down the soft fuzzy stuff. I stripped that all off the fuzzy soft material. And you want to get expose the tip because we're going to tie it in by that tip there, same as you would any soft tackle. So we'll tie that right on top here, the tip. Wrap forward on it a few wraps, and I'm going to fold it back to lock it in place. Now I'll reach in there and snip that out, just like so. Move my thread forward once again. Now. Grab my uh, plunger style pliers here. I like to use for these for uh, soft tackle feathers. Now I purposely picked a longer feather because I tie this that way. I want the fibers to go back quite a ways on the tail. Different than you would a regular soft tackle. It's just the way I like to tie them. Okay, you're only going to get about two to three wraps out of these feathers here. 
So we'll come around, just like so, wrap forward. And you'll use the whole feather, of course. I'm just gonna take my brush before I tie that off, make sure they're spread evenly around there. That looks good. Come up and tie that stem off. Just loop around a couple wraps, three. Release the pliers. And I'm just gonna fold everything back with my fingers and we're just gonna make a few wraps here to start to form the head. Come back on it. Now I'll reach in and grab that stem if I can find them there from the uh, feather itself. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of it. Okay. Okay, just give me a little hard time there. Reach in and grab that guy. Just give him a little pull like that and that'll come right off or you can snip it off. Now I'll just give that a little brush once again before I finish the fly. And build the head up a little bit more. Wrap it back just a bit more. Alrighty, and we're pretty much done. It's just a whip finish left to go. Four or five turns. So give him a four or five turn whip finish here. There we go. Snug our thread down nice and tight. Snip off that excess thread. And he's a done deal. Another size 10 guinea soft tackle. Found it to be a good attractor pattern with there's nothing much going on. I tie one on and the fish seem to have interest in it. So it's a good one to have in the box to give it a try. Well, there we have it. The guinea fowl soft tackle. All that's left to do is a little coat of resin like always on the thread wraps. Just come around give that a little shot on all your thread wraps there. Okay, and we'll cure that guy up. Just like so. Alrighty. There we have it, folks. Size 10 guinea fowl soft tackle. Real simple tie. Only two ingredients in this guy. And you could weight them as well if you want to get them down a little deeper. You could add weight, a few turns of lead wire, but I didn't on this guy this time around, but you can if you like. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll give this guy a try for sure. Let's see if I can get a little close up there. So anyhow, I want to thank you all for watching once again. Really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that good old subscribe button. If you'd like to see more flies in the future, appreciate it a great deal. And uh, throw in a few comments too if you like. If you have any comments, always look forward to reading comments. And throw in a like too if you wish. So until next time, folks, happy tying out there. I'll see you all again soon, and uh, so long for now.